Okay, so here we are back at the uh, where we left off for the first video. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy this to a new uh, document. Uh, so we have to create that document so that we're ready. So we're going to go up here, go to File, New Image, and we're going to name that image My Avatar. Now you'll notice that there are some presets in here because it's actually reading uh, the reference file that I created in the first part. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to overwrite the width. I'm going to make the width 800 and I'm going to also make my height 800. And we're working in pixels right now and we're also going to make it transparent. So you'll notice a difference from the prior canvas being solid white to the next one. So here we have the new um, document that we're going to be using for the avatar. Let me just slide this over a little bit, click over here, and I'm going to select this photograph. I'm going to use my rectangular marquee tool, and I have to change it back because I was using that as elliptical previously. So I'm going to come up here to the menu for the marquee tool and select the rectangular one. So I'm going to go ahead and capture most of my image. Um, in the end, it's not going to matter. I am going to delete that. But for now, it's always better to have more available to work with. So once it's selected, I can copy it. I can either go up to my menu and edit copy, or I can hold down Control C. So let's slide this over so I can see my destination image. I'm going to switch to my Move tool click in here again now I'm going to edit paste so I can either edit paste or I can control V to commit it. Now you'll also notice that I have my layers. I have a zero la layer zero and a layer one. I no longer need layer zero. So let's go ahead and delete that. I can either delete it by right clicking and choosing delete or I could click on the layer and click on the trash can. Either way works. So since we're here, let's go ahead and click on the trash can and it's gone and I'm left with layer one. I want to start um, right off the bat labeling my layers. So I'm going to call this photo because that's what it is. Now it's really important in this um, lesson that when you're working, every element of the avatar is going to have its own layer. So the hair, the eyes, the nose, glasses, etc., will all be on their own layer. So you're going to actually have quite a few layers. So I'm going to go ahead and drag my layer panel over here. And yours is going to be a little bit shorter when you, at first, it's the default size is about here, but it's going to, that's going to get kind of difficult um, once you start adding layers. So we're going to go ahead and stretch that. Also, we no longer need this document. I already have my picture saved, so I'm going to go ahead and close it, and I am not going to save that image for today. Um, I'm really not going to use my navigator very much, so I'm going to go ahead and just leave that out of the picture. And I'm going to just move my history panel down here. I'm again mostly focusing on my layers. So I'm ready to start my um, avatar. And essentially, I'm just going to be painting on um, using my photograph as a reference. So I need to first off make a new layer. So I'm going to go down here. You'll see that um, anytime you mouse over an icon, you get a pop up. So that helps you. So that's the new layer. Now that's called layer two. This is actually going to be my face layer. I'm going to go ahead and use a marquee, but I don't want the rectangular marquee. I want to use my elliptical because faces are elliptical. So I'm going to go ahead, come onto my photograph and get kind of a general shape on my selection. And okay, try to, oops, I kind of lost that. Let's try again. So I'm going to come up here because under my hair, I have a forehead. So I'm going to go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go ahead and just slide it over a little bit. So I've got that. So now I'm ready to paint. Um, now I have to choose a color to paint. Now you'll notice over here on my color palette, I already have somewhat of a skin color from a previous um, image I was working on. So I want to select something from my image um, that would represent my face. And I can go ahead and make um, further adjustments later on. But for now, I just want to start to get some color on the page. So I'm going to come over here to my eyedropper. And here in Pixlr, they refer to it as the color picker tool. So I'm going to 
select that. And I'm going to come over here onto my picture and I'm going to select somewhere in my face and to get a color. So you can see that makes me look kind of uh, pinky over here. No big deal. I'm just going to work with that to start. So I'm going to go ahead and my paint bucket tool. And I'm going to go ahead and dump that color right in there. Um, I'm not going to really worry that's a little bit um, off. I mean, we are, our goal for the assignment is to um, be creative, but we also want to have a sense of realism. So um, skin color really varies among people, especially among cartoon people. So I'm done drawing my face for now. So I also need to layer name my layer. So this is my face layer. Alrighty, now let's uh, go ahead and draw some hair. Now, this is a little bit challenging when I have my face covering over my hair. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hide that layer for right now. So we refer to that as turning the layer off or turning it on or hiding it. You can see I still have a selection tool here. I wanna deselect, so I can either go to my edit menu and deselect, or I can use the um, keyboard shortcut, which is Control D. So now I'm ready to select my hair, but my hair is a bit irregular, therefore I wanna use a tool that allows me to really get all the contours and bangs and so forth. So for this selection, I'm now going to use a lasso tool. So I'm gonna go ahead, just start anywhere along the edge, and with the lasso tool, you wanna click and drag. So I'm gonna kinda of grab this little bit of hair that's sticking out, and I'm gonna trace here along my face, Again, as long as I can get some basic shapes down here, I'm going to be fine because later on, I can come in and further refine my um, element, in this case, my hair element, with either an eraser or I can add to it with the paintbrush. So I have this, these options available to me. So I think I'm done with my selection. You'll notice my ants are running. I'm ready to paint. I'm going to repeat the same process that I did when I selected my um, skin color. I'm going to go to my color picker tool. Now I'm going to go ahead and click somewhere in my click somewhere in my hair, and you can see I have the brown is now in the um, color palette. Again, I'm going to go back to my paint bucket and dump that color. Right. Oops. I didn't. Um, make a new layer. So I better do that before I do much dumping, otherwise I'm going to have a problem right now. So let's turn that on, make sure, up, oh, and I did. So you can notice I now have my hair layer is on my face, which is not cool. We've got to get rid of that. Therefore, I'm just going to um, take advantage of my history tool here, and I'm going to go back to the lasso before I uh, dumped it in, and I'm going to now make a new layer and I'm going to call it hair. So you can see, even though I've done this several times, it's a really easy mistake to make, so you should usually create the new layer before you make the selection. So let's go ahead now and dump in that color. Alrighty, so we have some hair, we have a face, and for today, let's go ahead and um, make the next selection. I think you get the hang of this as we're um, uh, moving along. So I'm going to deselect the hair now again I'm not going to get too concerned about these gaps because I can easily go back in later on and fill them in and make further um, revisions to it so um, same process let's go ahead and create a new layer so don't make a mistake again and I'm going to call this one neck and I have my um, I like to do the face and neck separately because um, that way I can go ahead and make a better chin so I've got my neck I'm going to use the lasso again because it too is irregular. But it's kind of difficult to select um, without being able to see my chin and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide that face layer again. And I know this is pretty comical. I'm sure I find it somewhat amusing as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of come up here, kind of get along the contour of my sweater. And I'll just come down here and add a little bit more because later on my sweater is going to be covering that. So I'm gonna come up here along the edge. And right now I'm not too worried. I'm just gonna come right across my chin and right across my lips. And I'll go ahead and fix that little um, area over here at a later point. So now once that's selected, again, repeat the process, color picker tool, select an area on the image that's reasonable, paint bucket, dump it in. 
Good, let's turn my face back on. But now I have a problem. I have the face is on top of my neck where really I need to have the neck behind that. No problem, we can fix this because we can reorder our layers. So let's go ahead and deselect the um, marquee tool. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on my neck layer and move that below the face layer. Alrighty, so it's a little comical because the skin colors are definitely way off, but um, as we work, we'll blend that in and uh, get colors that make more sense. So hopefully uh, this has given you um, some information, um, especially through a video where you can actually see it develop and see how the tools are used. Um, if you have any other questions, please make sure to ask. But remember, before we go, we better save this. So let's go to File. We're going to save it. And as you know, we want to be able to continue editing. So we're going to make sure we save this as a PXD file. I'm going to save mine to my desktop today. Um, you are going to put yours in your picture folder. Okay, good luck. Any questions? Remember, you could also ask a friend. Um, work together. Designers do collaborate. That is fine. Have fun.